Scales joins us today, a professor of music at WT. How are you doing today? Doing well. Well, I'm glad you could join us. I feel like, you know, music this time of year is so prevalent. I think everybody listens to it. I think one question we were going to ask everybody that comes on, when do you start listening to Christmas music? Oh, generally I try to say after Thanksgiving because it's it's what we do. But uh, since COVID, it's been kind of a therapy thing to have it pl play a little sooner. <laughs> I think Christmas music makes everybody a little bit happier, a little more joyful. Exactly. I know that we've got some amazing music coming up from one of your groups. Could you tell yes. us a little bit about this group? Well, this is my studio at, at uh, West Texas A&M. This is the double bass studio um, part of it. Uh, we've got a few students who've already left for the break, but um, we perform uh, a, a lot of different things like this, but we've got a Christmas folder that we can pull music out of and go around and tour and do caroling really easily. So how many songs, you know, do, do these students learn for Christmas? Um, well, our book has 35 or 40 pieces in it. Oh, wow. Um, and we can pull from that. They're, they're pretty easy arrangements that we can just kind of shuffle people around, and it's nice. We can just show up and do spontaneous bass caroling. <laughs> just like today, like you're going to see in just a little bit. Well, coming up, you know, next year is a, a big year. Mm -hmm. February, always huge for y'all. You have TMEA. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that and what you do while you go there. Well, it's the Texas Music Educators Conference. Mm -hmm. There's, um, I think last year was about 26,000 people there, and uh, they have invited groups, and our symphonic band at West Texas A&M and our choir are both uh, invited groups, which is a huge honor to have them, uh, to have them both going at the same time. And then our bass studio was invited to perform, and I'm giving a presentation. I think we have a couple of other people doing things that I can't think of right at the moment, mm -hmm. but um, we're always heavily involved with TMEA. It's nice because we're enough remote up here. It's a way that we really have some outreach and recruitment. Absolutely. Down south. So you teach what specifically at WT? Well, I, bass is my primary uh, thing, but I also do some jazz teaching. I teach theory and uh, ear training, and I'm coordinator of our music business program. That's amazing. Wow. So how many students, you know, do you do you teach each year? Um, it, it goes between, because I also do an online music appreciation class, about 300 a year. Wow. And how many, um, Double bass, correct? How many double bass students do you have? Right now, we have seven in the studio. We've got a student coming from Costa Rica next semester, and Ooh. that's exciting. Um, and uh, we've got, uh, you know, it changes a little bit from year to year, but we've had as many as 14, and we're looking at that kind of number next year. Well, you know what? I do want to put this out there, uh, you know, talking about doubles bass specifically. So I don't play double bass. I play electric bass, and I will say electric bass is about 20 times easier than double <laughs> bass. You know, double, you have not only the bow, but you don't have, you know, specified frets as well. So you right. have to really uh, listen to what you're playing to make sure you're in tune. So a lot of respect to you guys. Uh, I just want to put that out there. Double bass <laughs> takes a lot of talent. I don't think I could ever do it. Well, these guys work really, really hard. It's a, it's a fantastic group. Absolutely. So when, you know, these students have probably been playing for, for a few years at least, um, what do you think that teaches kids, you know, being able to play an instrument? Oh, it's, it, it's huge. It's, it, you know, you, you have to do problem solving all the time. You have to constantly figure out how you can make things better and what, uh, not only is it like, you know, cathartic, to a huge degree, but it's also something that, that they can do. I, like I always tell my students, I want you to be able to play till you're 80, even if you're, uh, if it's your main thing or not, I want them to be able to play. And it's something that you can express, but you can also get, a, it's uh, a great mental workout. Awesome, well, I think we're ready to take a listen to WT Double Bass Studio.